Honorable Chairperson, as has become a routine, the former chairman of the ANC Cada Deployment Committee offered us a series of platitudes about building a capable state at the State of the Nation address. And also, as usual, he entirely avoided the most important cause of the collapse of the South African state, namely the corrupt ANC Cada Deployment Committee that he led during the height of the Zuma administration. Over the past four years, the DA has run a laser-focused campaign against Cada deployment corruption. Keer op keer het ons die president gewaarski dat ons nie sal ris voor dat kaderontplooiing verslaan is nie. By giving the ANC unconstitutional powers to interfere in appointment processes, this system leads directly to the appointment of incompetent and corrupt individuals in government departments and state-owned enterprises. Behind the collapse of every public service, from load shedding to policing to railways, you will find an ANC cadre who should never have been appointed in the first place. But our warnings fell on deaf ears. The more the DA intensifies our campaign against cadre deployment, the more vigorously President Ramaphosa and others in the ANC defend it. And then he has the temerity to stand on this stage and talk about building a capable state. Don't you get it, Mr. President? Not one person in this country believes that you are serious about fighting corruption when you never miss a chance to defend the cause of corruption, ANC CADA deployment. Now, terwijl the ANC dit nie wil hoor nie, sit die rest van Suid-Afrika reg op oor die DA'se oorlog teen die bose stelsel. Today, the vast majority of South Africans stand united behind the DA on this issue. To demonstrate this, allow me to read a few short quotes and then perhaps the President can guess where they come from. Here we go, and I quote. When the ANC insists that officials should consider its deployment committee's recommendations in making certain appointments in the public service or parastatals, it requires them to take into account something that is not provided for in the law and therefore requires them to act unlawfully. Do you know who said this, Mr. President? The answer is Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. Let's do another one, and I quote, Deployments may detract from the objectivity of the person so employed who has to work on behalf of the ANC. Where does this one come from, Mr. President? From the DA's court victory over the ANC to expose deployment committee records from your time as CADA chairman. Let's do one more, and I quote, Recruitment and selection practices based on deployment have gained notoriety which has spawned cynicism. Some even question their constitutionality related to the principle of equality, and they may have a point. Deployment practices ought to be ditched in favor of a merit-based recruitment and selection system. Can you identify the source for this one, Mr. President? It is, in fact, a recommendation from the group of experts who drafted the framework for the professionalization of the public sector on the instruction of the cabinet that you lead. So if the State Capture Commission, the courts, and experts in your own government, as well as millions of ordinary South Africans, all agree with the DA that CADA deployment must end, why are you still so desperately defending it? There can only be one rational answer to this question. It is because the President fundamentally supports it. It is for this reason that years of hollow talk on fighting corruption, state capture and incompetence have yielded exactly zero fruits. It also explains why this government is ignoring the State Capture Commission's finding that cater deployment is unlawful. In fact, the hypocrisy of the President lauding the work of Judge Zondo during SONA while knowing full well that his government has not implemented and does not intend to implement the findings of the State Capture Report is shameful. And so, it has fallen to the DA 
to lead South Africa across the Rubicon on this issue. And that is exactly what we are doing and what we are going to continue doing. With every passing day, we are moving closer to winning the war against cadre deployment. The State Capture Commission confirmed that our war is both morally and legally just. The deployment committee minutes from 2018 to 2021 that we exposed horrified the people of this country, Mr. President, as they showed how the ANC even interferes with appointments to the judiciary, including the highest court in the land. Our private members' bill in Parliament to end cater deployment has won support from across civil society. And we have won our court challenge to force the ANC to make public, full records of the deployment committee from the period when President Ramaphosa chaired it. This is a historic victory for transparency. Thanks to the DA, the people of this country will soon see for themselves how complicit the President is in corruption and state capture. By the way, Mr. President, I would say that you are welcome to mail me these cadre records, but of course your cadres have destroyed the post office. So I think we'll have to rely on the private sector for a solution to that. The DA's fight against cadre deployment corruption will culminate when we win our court case to declare this evil system unconstitutional and unlawful. Feel it. The end of ANC cadre deployment is near. When all of this is over, history will record that the former cadre deployment chairman's personal complicity in the corrupt appointments that ruined our public sector. And as the people of South Africa follow the DA across the Rubicon, away from the era of ANC corruption and into a new era of DA-engineered good governance, Mr. Ramaphosa will be standing alone on the wrong shore of history. Thank you.